What's going on YouTube? Ichi here. We're back with some more Breath of Fire. And last time, what happened last time? I think we ran some errands. And we fished out the uh, armor pieces for the uh, for our character Ryu. Uh, he has some specific armor like the sword and a shield and a helm. Dragon helm, dragon sword. And I, we fished it out. We got the tablet. And I think we also got a, a couple of new forms from... Uh, one of the temples. We fought a boss and we got the dragon forms because we have the drake form, which is like a subclass of dragon, and then we actually got the dragon forms now. So, yeah, so now we're uh, continuing on our journey and let's uh, see what's on the agenda. I'm not too sure yet what we want to do yet because you know, RPGs are so vast and you could just explore and you know for a while. Upgrade, uh, level up, like it's a lot of different things you can do to prepare, you know. But we actually filled in the map quite a bit. Yeah, we almost filled up the world of map. I mean, I think we're almost done with the game. I mean, we got like a almost completed party. I think we're missing like one more character from what I can tell from the screen. The uh, character select screen. Looks like we were missing like one more party member. So we're actually pretty far. I mean, we saw Zog too. He was revealed. The big bad boss of the game. He was revealed. And we've seen the council of the villains. Uh, Jade and uh, Monte. Cyril. And the other dude. And like the little imp guy. I forgot their names though. But I think we got a couple of the goddess keys as well. Like, see, there's like one more slot left. But like, you know, I go so long in playing these games. Like, there's a big break in between. I end up forgetting the plot of the of the story. I know we're looking for the goddess keys, and the black dragons are too, because they're scared of us light dragons, and like the black dragons are killing and persecuting us. And the more they have more numbers, and they're just terrorizing everybody. You know them damn black dragons. They all look alike now. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know what's on the agenda. Uh, what else do we have to do? Uh, we just got blue. Um, I think I think what's left is to. I think this is a new village we have to go to. But yeah, we're looking for the goddess keys. And I forgot how many we have. I think we have like four. But I forget how many there are in total. But yeah. I'm glad we got that form. That uh... What's his name? Karn? and uh, Gobi and uh, Bo they combine together fusion and they turn into a, a, a good tank yeah put that booba ring on let me put that on cause, cause I'm like why am I using a sword now, I think this is where we're supposed to be this is Gus the bridge in the valley leads to uh, Scout Scout it. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's where it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking the guide real quick. Just to double check, make sure that we're not wasting time here. Um, yeah, I think we're good. A missing villager is a friend of mine. I don't know what to do. Oh god! Okay. Oh, go, go, buddy! Go, do, do, do. Alrighty. Just gonna double save. Yeah, save state. 
we're good to go. I love this SNES Mini. SNES, SNES. I love it so much. And then, like, I modified it to put all these cool, awesome games on it. I love it. It's, like, one of the, my best purchases I ever made. Because, like, I used to, like, my, my dad, he had a whole collection of them. The uh, Super Nintendo games. And I used to play them when I was a kid. So this kind of recaptures that feeling for me of having that all on the, the uh, hard drive. Like, it's, it's so cool. And like those games are so good too, the ones I got and found. I'm trying to get a whole bunch more, but and the the good thing is that the uh, the ROMs like they're only like a couple megabytes, if anything. So you can hold a lot more. The only problem is the Game Boy Advance games. Those games is you know they're kind of chunky. Let them be, let them chunky. <laughs> There have been a lot of dark dragons in the area. Them damn dark dragons. Hey, 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 hey! Yep. We got a little puzzle here. Push that, and then there, and then that, and then that. Fuck up! No, no, no. One. Yeah, there we go. Boom. My kingdom was destroyed. I'm the one with the fuel spell. Uh, I couldn't even read it. it. Went so fast. Yeah, you gotta have Karn talk to him. It's one of his ancestors. Try and get a new transformation for him. Who are you, Karn? Let me teach you a spell. Yes, yeah, so I think this one combines Gobi, Karn, and uh, the uh, what's the ox guy name again? I forgot his name. As I expect you learn the spell. You are a member of my family line, Karn. This spell is now yours. Karn, what is the spell of stimulation? Simulation? Or? I said stimulation. <laughs> Simulation. I keep saying that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all we came here for. Uh, Debo. <laughs> Debo! My boy, Poop! Can't simulate at this point. Oh shit, Debo come. Give me shit. We're up, Craig. We're up, Smoke. Nothing, nothing. Got my drink. <laughs> Y'all some high rollers. Y'all broke. <laughs> I think there's more, there's more here. Um, what's going on now? Cause like, we talk about the same crap, cause gaming is, uh, is very important. And, uh, it's being, it's under attack. You know, our, one of our greatest forms of entertainment. Some, some people go mad when the north wind blows, but the young villager went to the rest of us, but we haven't heard from them. But yeah, gaming is under attack. Uh, our media, everything we uh, hold for entertainment is under attack. So, you know, not to sound like a broken record, but we, you know, we talk about like kind of every video. But it's, it's, it's an issue, and... It, it needs to be addressed. And, uh, 
people need to be made aware. Like, if, if you love video games, you should pay attention to what's going on and try to be a voice against it. Because we don't like censorship, we like all forms of uh, expression and entertainment. Not one or the other, you gotta have everything. We got the ring and the ring. So, it's very important. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sound like a broken record, so I'm not gonna keep going down the same uh, rabbit hole. But, uh, I don't know what's going on in games right now. Uh, oh. What games came out? Uh, we already talked about Wukong. Uh, I think there was a game came out and it flopped. I think it was a woke game that came out. I know some people are talking about Dragon Age and Dragon Age confirmed that you can have like transition scars for like like say if you're a, a woman and you want to transition to a man and like you cut your boobies off and, like you have that uh, surgery scar from that like Ellen Page oh my bad Elliot Page and then uh, I don't, don't want to dead name I don't want to dead name him Elliot Page And you can have that in the game. Dragon Age 2, I think. Um, and then they had a trailer for it. And, like, all the memes are out, and it's super funny. And, like, they're showing, like, the the Dragonborn people. Like, they look mad. Uh, they look diverse. Very diverse. Excuse me. <coughs> From the, um, the older games. It's like, what, what is going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? It's your boy, JP. Turn my bloody headphones up, I tell you what. Are you ready? <laughs> my bloody hell, I'm from bloody well. Elliot Page is not the male. It's so pathetic, you can rescue your father from a belly of a whale. <laughs> that's, from, that's from, like, high res. This is this his YouTuber, he does, like, music uh, rap videos and I think he uses AI and he takes all these famous people and he, he tends he tends to lean kind of conservative and he takes these famous people and he has them rap and there's Jordan Peterson you know the, uh, the, the, the teacher psychologist philosopher and uh, he has he has issues with Ellen Page <laughs> Elliot Page my bad and he put that in a rap it's mad funny like bloody hell, he's Canadian too, so it's, it's, it's even funnier. Like bloody hell, I'm repping bloody well. <laughs> Elliot Page is not the male. <laughs> it's bloody pathetic, you must rescue your father from the belly of a whale. <laughs> the Canadian government must have thrown me in jail. Look, it's mad fun. But yeah, that, that's Dragon Age 2. And, you know, it, it, it has to stop. Because, like, that's what I do. I, I don't buy new games no more. I just play old games. A big fly took my lunch, now I'm hungry. A big fly, huh? Looks, looks like you don't need to eat that lunch. <laughs> you can eat the skip a, uh, a lunch or two. Big boy, but yeah, you know, like I said, I don't even buy new games. And then like Capcom, Capcom's the worst. Like they really, they really lost it. And then people be coping and seething over them, and just like like Resident Evil 4 remake, Resident Evil 4 remake. I talk about it so much because people cope so hard. Well, Resident Evil 4 was solid. The, re the remake was solid. No, it wasn't. It, it, it catered to feminism. I, I need to make a video on it because I don't think no. 
I got I gotta search and see if somebody made a video on it. Cause if not, I'll do it myself. Cause people be coping on Resident Evil 4 remake like it wasn't woke and it wasn't censored. It was censored and it is woke. Feminism is a part of wokeness. Feminism is under the umbrella of wokeness. But people be forgetting that. People be trying to uh, 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 not even think about feminism. Like like it's normal. Like, no, it's not. Like, when you promote the female and put them over the man, that's feminism. And that's part of the woke agenda, too. Like, come on. Like I said, I gotta see if somebody made a video about Resident Evil 4 remake being woke. If not, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it myself and upload it. I'm gonna take all the scenes from the game that that bothered me, and I'm gonna just talk about it from scene to scene, explaining how it's woke. Cause these people, these people be coping like they don't want to fucking go against the grain and go against the flock. Like they're a bunch of sheep, clowns. What the hell? Oh, now we're doing it like the villagers. It's fucking flower. Oh, we got another dungeon, huh? I think we're ready. I mean, let's double check. Yeah, magic good, health is good. It should be good. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the video. Cause people people act like Resident Evil 4 remake is so good. It's not. I mean, I, I only played through it once, and I was good. And I was trying to. <laughs> so many nemesis. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I was watching that video again on my channel. My, my uh, nemesis. What was it? Nemesis in love. That video is pretty funny. It's... I'm getting sidetracked. Let me finish up my rant about Resident Evil 4 and I'll talk about that. But yeah, like Resident Evil 4, like it's, it's woke. They they push feminism. Like, I'll give you one example. Leon in the original Resident Evil 4, he has a scene where uh, he's he's on um, the island part and he has a scene where he dodges lasers to get the uh, Salazar. Sadler and they cut it in the remake and gave it to Ada yeah that dragon form looked badass it was like a blue eyes white dragon but yeah they cut the laser scene and they gave it to Ada but that's just one example I got plenty more oh trust me I got another I'll give you another one when, towards the end of the game uh, in the original Ada is like tied up dancing in distress Leon saves her she runs off screen and gets the rock and looks ready for him. In the remake, Leon saves her. She's swinging like Batman onto the scene. She's whipping out her fucking big dick gun. And she's blasting Sal uh, Sadler alongside Leon. Like, what the fuck, yo? And there's more. There's more to it. And Ashley's a part of it, too. They put her on the pedestal as well. Ashley has to save Leon in the remake. Leon gets trapped in the cage and Ashley has to save him. What? That's feminism. You tear down the man to uplift the woman. That's feminism. And that's a part of wokeness. Like all these fucking uh, people are coping. These, these fucking fake fans. Like they're coping. Resident Evil is not woke. It's not woke. It is woke. And they did censor Ashley. Can you, they gave her a skirt, I think, a, a skirt and shorts, because they didn't want you to be able to look up her skirt like in the original. That's censorship, dumbass. Resident Evil 4 remake is woke. Feminism is woke. It's a part of wokeness. Clowns. Yeah, I, I hate these comments, yo. I seen a comment that was like, it's, it's some some dickhead said Resident Evil 4 is solid. Cause one guy was like Capcom lost it and he said Stellar, Stellar Blade is where it's at and the other and the guy was like Resident Evil 4 was solid and then he was like you forgot Resident Evil 4 was censored and then, then I said I said yeah funny how they forget about that I guess they don't want to go against the flock sheep because it's true like I said I'm gonna make the video 
Now I'm going to upload it. I, I, I got to see if somebody else made it. If not, I'll make it myself. Because I, I didn't like Resident Evil 4 Remake. I didn't like the... Well, you know, I won't go into a rant on that. Because that's just a whole video. I already talked about how I don't like Resident Evil 4 Remake. But I really don't like Resident Evil 4 Remake. Matter of fact, I don't even like these remakes that they're doing for the, the, the Resident Evil series. I don't like them. Like, 2 was okay. 2 was okay, Resident Evil 2 Remake was okay, 3, uh, I played 3, I enjoyed 3, but 3 was trash though, because they cut a lot of content and they steered away from the original game, especially with the choices with Nikolai, and what happens with him during the storyline, and how like the ending was like him and Carl, like, it, was, it was goofy as fuck. And they, they cut they cut the clock tower out of Resident Evil 4, of Resident Evil 3. Like they cut out a whole section of the game. The clock tower. And then they had it like you just it's, it's like scenery. It's like, what are you doing? So yeah, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 was trash too, but I still I still enjoyed it. Cause it was like it was it was short and sweet. But it was still trash. Like you can enjoy trash, you know? Resident Evil 3 was trash. But I still enjoyed it. But whatever. Like I said, I made this <laughs> video with, with Nemesis. Not nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. I love you too. You smell nice to you. Do you put lavender in your shampoo? <laughs> Why they give Nemesis a nose, man? And then they gave him like this trash bag outfit. Horrible. Yeah, we got the dark key. The light key. The... Oh. Yeah, we got like two. The fight. Light key, dark key. Isn't that nice to you? <laughs> that joke was funny. I think that's, that's like one of my popular videos. This Nemesis in Love. Somebody else had made a video similar to mine. You know, you give a Nemesis a dumb narration. You know, it's, it's not like a... It's not a super complex idea, I mean, it's, it's like, anybody can do the parody, you know. And somebody was like, oh, somebody referenced that video. I'm like, look at our upload dates, clown. I, I uploaded earlier than him. Because I came out with it before him. Or whoever did it. Fucking clown. Because I think he's a more popular channel than me. She learned chill. Freeze. Chill. Hey, freeze. Chill. Nemesis in love. That shit, I'll say some funny shit though. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jim, you need me. Well, the, the, I, I, I did the rush hour too. It's like, we could have been a different couple. We could have had something special. But you went crazy ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like that's, that's just mad funny. Like you got this evil monster. And you got this dumb ass goofy cartoon voice. It's mad funny. Yeah. <laughs> then he's stalking her too on top of that. It's just, it's just funny to me. Yeah. Not nice, you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I want to do another Phoenix right. I've been thinking about that. I've been watching my old videos. I want to do another one, but only thing that I wish I wish I had uh somebody to do like the the female voices with, because the female voices be tripping me up. 
I wish I had somebody who was down to do that. I could make a lot, I could stretch a lot out. Oh, I can't turn out. Get more bang for my buck. It'd be hard coming up with all these different voices. Oh shit, I, st I, st I didn't even finish Ghost Trick. Like, I did, I did like a couple episodes of Ghost Trick, but... I don't know, like, it's just, it's just not as interesting, honestly. But, uh, I'll finish it. If you guys want to see it, I'll finish it, but... I don't know. I don't like to leave nothing unfinished, so I, I might go back and finish it anyway. But, it's not going to be top priority right now. Hell, I gotta finish fucking a uh, Solstice. I didn't finish that game either. Because, like... I, I got put off because I have to learn the enemy types. Because the enemy types have, um... They, they have preferences when it comes to their uh, weaponry, right? Because enemies have uh, weaknesses and uh, strengths to, to uh, specific weapons. So you have to know the, the weapon type to use on them. And like towards the end, of, I'm, I, I think I'm towards the end of the game. Like they start throwing out like all these different combinations of enemies at you. So you gotta be ready to switch and use them on the fly. And to, you know, utilize your... Uh, your damage output and you, you can't slow up because you know the, the enemies will gang up on you and that's game over take damage that's it so it's like i gotta take like an hour or two i gotta like read up on um basically i, I gotta i gotta practice and educate myself on the on the matchups and it's like i didn't take the time to do that yet because like i gotta put i gotta put time in to do that you know the game was fun i, I like the story is basically berserk combined with claymore the mangas is basically what it is and you get claire you, you combine briar i call it claire claire's from claymore you take claire and combine her with guts and then you get a uh, briar from uh souls that's what you get but i like briar and loot they were uh they were sweet together they're sisters Sister, sister. Literal sisters. Like, like, one of their idle dialogues I thought was really, uh, feels touching. It's like Bri Briar's, like, she goes, because Briar, she's supposed to be, like, like hard ass, kind of like, you know, character with a dark past, and she's angry, and she's bloodthirsty, and, you know, she's hard headed, and she throws herself into danger. To combat, you know, the the fuel her uh, aggression, and it's just like like combat is like an outlet for her pain and anger, right? So she's that kind of character personality. But like I said, she has this like moment where she talks to Luke, and she goes, "Luke, she, I know I'm kind of angry all the time. I just want to say I'm sorry." And I was like, I was like, damn, was like you know, because characters are like really reflect on how they bend and how they act you know so she's saying that to Luke I'm like oh damn and she goes Luke I'm sorry and Luke's like it's okay sister I just wish I could do more for you and it's sweet because Luke is dead like she's a ghost and so it's like it's tragic that she that she that she's saying that to Briar because she's dead like there's nothing she can do and that's why she goes I wish I could do more for you and it's like, damn, it's kind of tragic, you know. But it, it, it was a sweet, it's a sweet moment. And it, it's one of their idle uh, uh, conversation dialogues. And I'm like, okay, you know, it, it adds a little bit more depth to her character, and I appreciate that. So yeah, I gotta finish Solstice. I gotta take some time. My schedule's cleared up a little bit, so I'm, I might, I might try to get back in that. But I don't know. I just been playing whatever right now. So there's a lot of videos I gotta edit. I gotta finish editing Resident Evil 5. Cause me and my, me and my bro finished that, so that'll be up on the channel pretty soon. I'm just trying to, cause like we was, we was having fun and just like, you know, kind of taking our time. But 
I don't know. I gotta edit. I don't. I don't want to make it too long, so I might trim it down. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that'll be up soon. But it's not getting a lot of traction, so I, I might end up. Um, I don't know. Just trying out different stuff. See if you guys like. Cause I think the fighting games on my channel get more views than my uh, playthroughs. I, I think the thing is that I just have to commentate them more. That's what it is. But it's kind of hard for me to do. Because where I live at, like now, like the walls are like really thin. So it's kind of weird. You know, like acting all crazy on camera. But, yeah. yeah. I like doing that voice, it's so fun. They call me Mr. Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. Let's see how this new formula affects you. This fucker. What's his name? Court? Oh, shit. Here we go again. I think I'm gonna save it real quick. We made a little bit of progress. We're at 30. I think I might end the episode right here. Let's see the, we'll see what's going on. I don't want to make this too long. I just want to. I just want to get ready. We, we might fight this dude. Now, I don't know how strong he is, so I just want to make sure I got my shit ready. Um, if it's a fight, we'll do it. If it's like a cutscene or something, uh, I think I'll end it in the episode here. Alright, we'll see what's going on. Alright, here we go. Oh, let's see how this new formula affects you. <laughs> I don't know why he's selling Mickey a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Tell us to go! It's teleported. Oh shit, we shrunk. Honey, you shrunk the kids. Man, motherfucker. So now what? I guess it's a good spot to end it. We'll find out in the next episode. It's been Ichi. And I'll see you around. Peace.